What's going on, people? Is anybody ever curious what happened uh, when you have a little boo-boo at the big corporation UBS? I mean, personally, I did, so I want to share this experience since quite a few people actually watched the video regarding being a mechanic for the UBS. So it didn't happen like recently, it happened quite a few weeks ago. And I'm like, I need to record the video for it. Maybe it's going to be interesting for somebody. So... <clears throat> You as a mechanic, you're responsible for the repairs in your fleet. And if you do it for long enough, it kind of gets sometimes very intense. Uh, somebody distract you by you doing something, you forgot to tighten the bolt, didn't plug something back in, and uh, you will miss things. It just, in my opinion, if you're a mechanic currently and you're going to tell me you never screw up, it means you didn't do it long enough. It's like riding a dirt bike. It's not if you're gonna get hurt, it's when you're gonna get hurt. It's just the generics of the sport and it's just generics of the work. But when you work for the small fleet, uh, small company, whatever fleet or uh, repair shop, uh, they treat you a little bit different. So they like they will have a talk with you and um, basically just give you a slap in the hand. And the big corporation is the same way, but in nowadays, uh, it's a huge shortage of mechanics. So, like, what I did, it's a big deal. So, at least to me. Uh, first of all, I'm that type of person when that something happens, first of all, I'm embarrassed in the front of myself. Second of all, I, uh, whatever the repair I do, the guy gets in behind the wheel the next day and actually drives it, and he trusts me by whatever I did on it um, so I did brake job on this thing the car whatever truck and uh, it's a Ford and it has this little tiny studs it's 10 of them and a torque spec it's anywhere from like 150 to 165 lug nuts so <clears throat> it was I don't know exactly what happened that's what I assume happened uh, I did not put new wheels and tires on it. I just did brakes, so I pulled the brakes out, it's the duels. I changed the brakes, put them back on, and it took 32 days, and the wheels actually came off. Like, all the lug nuts got loose and the wheels came off. Uh, thank God the guy was not driving in a busy road. It was kind of on the gravel road. He was crossing the uh, railroad tracks, and soon he crossed the railroad tracks on the gravel, uh, railroad tracks on the gravel road. Um, he noticed one of the wheels actually passed him and then the other one come off. He wasn't going uh, too fast, maybe like 15 to 20 miles an hour. So I got pictures of it. It says my wheels fall off and I'm like, that's insane. Like, I, I don't remember when you and I work on it. So I spoke with my supervisor says, hey, you've been working on this uh, thing a little over a month ago. And how could that happen? So in my theory, when I putting the inside wheel in, it probably had a little bit of mud or something and it pulls in in the face of where you're tightening the lug nuts in, if that makes sense. Uh, and I tied it up, I torqued it. And what happened is that dirt finally worked itself out and lug nuts got loosened up and took off. Uh, I took the blame for it. I said, that's my, I'm responsible for it because I'm the last person who was touching. They were talking about the driver or he needed to do better pre-trip inspection. I don't blame the driver at all. The point is, when you work for that big of a company and you have a handful of drivers uh, where you maintain their vehicles, you want to keep the really, really good relationship with it. You don't want to be slack off. You don't want to have too many screw ups uh, because the driver, in theory, by losing wheels, he could have made a big deal and I could get in a ton, a ton of problem. But they kind of brush it off I got a warning letter for I've been spoke with a union rep on it and I was spoke with my supervisor and the supervisor supervisor and whatever so they did kind of make a big deal that says do not repeat this again and I told him I says look I did not do that on purpose it's just the generics of my job and blows my mind away they stayed on for 30 days over 30 days and then it came loose but the point is you want to keep the good relationship so when you work for the big of a company like this you want to keep the good relationship because that driver could create a huge problem to the point of firing he could have say i'm 
mentally got hurt now because I'm freaking out I could have rolled the car over and killed myself and whatever so the guy who actually drives the car I uh, pretty good buddies with him I try to be buddies with all the drivers I have uh, they literally have my phone number I have their phone numbers if they have some sort of problem anytime you guys can call me I have total uh, totally have no problem with that I don't want to communicate much with the paperwork if it has to be I literally if the driver writes down the problem in his book at the end of the day I usually get a hold of the guy if it's not too late at night says hey what specifically what doesn't run right or anything like that so each individual driver I have I literally have a personal connection with them so and that makes me look good and that way he, he helps me to solve the problem in his package car so if you do if you do work for ups right now or you're planning to work on ups right now they are really really serious about a screw-ups like that and i've been told you will legitly will get determined if one of the components will fail in the steering if the driver will lose steering that is big no-no and i totally agree with them so when you do your uh, inspection you definitely check the tie rod ends um, your drag links make sure your steering wheel tight uh, kingpins etc etc uh, I did happen to me just when I started like three weeks four weeks into it I actually lost the tie rod end and that's the car I really didn't work on it like I did an inspection on it and what happened is the grease zerk was gone off of it so I put it back on greased it sent it down road inspected it was tight uh, they are very understandable because some of the cars getting ran on the gravel road and they are really really rough and if you hit a bump hard enough you actually can rip the tie riding it off trust me it does happen it happened to me personally and one of my pickups i was on the gravel road and there was a huge washout and i hit the bump and i actually jerked my wheel and i ended up uh getting a, a tie rain tie right and fall off so they are very understandable in some things but they still have to make it a big deal for it so you don't take the stuff for granted so next time you pay extra uh, attention to it so since the wheels fall off what i determine i need to do so every time i take the freshly mounted tires on the wheels i do inspect them make sure there's no dirt inside of them anything like that uh, i if somebody comes up to me and talk to me when I'm tightening the lock nuts, I says, hey, just give me like two minutes. Let me finish this, make sure I didn't miss nothing, and then we'll go on with the conversation. Like literally it goes to that point. Somebody asked me to help me to hold something or something, do whatever. When it comes to the wheels and the front end work, I literally will talk to it out loud. I don't care if people be crazy because you start understanding for the, the work I do, you liable for somebody else's life and i'm gonna say once again thank god that guy was not going down the road uh like an interstate and his wheels fall off but the mechanic to mechanic who's watches this um you guys probably will understand regarding if you do it for long enough you will have screw ups i had a friend of mine uh we work on one of the shops he put two two brand new differentials and the guy right next to him asked him to do something and what happened is he put the plugs in he totally forgot to put oil on it and went for the test drive and burned two rear ends and the guy been doing that since he was 18 years old and his and his he's in his early 40s i mean things do happen it's just the generics of the work generics of the sport um so that's the little story regarding what ups does I get little right up slap in the hand and uh, if you if you get routine of them uh, you will get determination letter and then eventually you can lose your job so the things are fairly serious not at the first stage or second stage but if you get too many of them there is a, a huge potential to actually lose your job thanks for watching all